Hi, I'm Tom Jones and welcome to another free art lesson. Uh, as you probably are aware, I spend a lot of time traveling around the country gathering reference material for my paintings. When I go on location, I'm usually with a camera, uh, I'm doing thumbnail sketches, I'm doing value studies, uh, I'm doing color studies, and they're all small, usually small paintings, small exercises. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what to carry with you in the field. I think it's important, first of all, to mention to you that you want to pack light. I suggest that you put everything in a small backpack, and I carry a small backpack with me. And this is what it looks like. Just a small backpack that's comfortable for you, that you can put on your back, that's easy to carry, that's not too heavy. What am I going to put in the backpack? Okay, I'm going to put several items in it. Number one, I'm going to put a sketchbook in, in the pack. So here's an example. Here's my sketchbook, and I wouldn't go any larger than this in the sketchbook. Here happens to be a sketch that I did in France. It's still in my sketchbook, so there's an example. Uh, in addition to that, you're going to need what I call a watercolor block. This particular block has 20 sheets of 140 pound cold press in it. I can paint on the surface, take this top off, then all I've got to do is simply set that aside and then I have a fresh clean sheet of paper, paper that I can paint on. If you don't use this, you also can get a book that you can paint in with 140 pound cold press. You just flip the pages much like you do in a sketchbook. So those are a couple of items that you're going to need to put in your field paint kit. What else do I have that's important? Obviously you're going to need a field paint kit. This one's a little dirty and a little used. It's the one I just used in Yellowstone. We just came back. But as an example, I would recommend that you get maybe 12 colors. You can either use tubes or cakes, whatever your preference is. And when you have this uh, with you, all you need is a couple of brushes. You don't need a lot of brushes. I use, as an example, just a number eight round brush and my one half inch brush. That's all you need to paint this size paintings. You don't need anything bigger than that. Uh, many times I'll take and paint even smaller paintings than this. I'll break the scene down and maybe do four, four scenes on one page. Many times I'll break down a sheet of paper and do four sketches on one page. So you can see that these two brushes, the number eight round and the one half inch will do nicely for you. In addition to that, what else are you going to need? You're going to need a either a mechanical pencil or a regular uh, sketching pencil with an eraser. So you'll need that or maybe a couple of them. So that'll go in your backpack as well. What else do I need? Well, I need water supply. So I put my water supply in a small container. You can use any container you want. This happens to be one that I find convenient, so I use that one. What do I do? I put the water in my water container. Now this collapses like the Chinese or Japanese they have lanterns. I usually keep it about that height. I don't have to necessarily have that much water. So that works very nicely for me. All right, so I have that available. And a little tip for you, when you go to places like Yellowstone, we actually use the water in the Yellowstone River or the Soda Butte River to paint with. You know, we artists are a little crazy anyway, but it adds a little bit more ambiance, I think, to the whole scene of painting when you're using the water from that particular location. A lot of fun. So what else do I need? Well, I've got a small watercolor block. I've talked about this one, but you can get smaller ones of any size down the postcard size. They're ideal for just doing real refer small reference sketches and paintings on them. So I use those a lot. In addition to that, you may want to use a viewfinder. Now, some artists use a viewfinder, some artists don't, some like to show off with it, some have it, never use it like myself. But anyway, you have a viewfinder so you can pick particular scenes and you can use it, use it either as a vertical or as you can use it as a square. You can use it any way you want. So you can see how you can use those particular viewfinders. I always carry a couple of extra sponges with me. These are the little artist sponges. You just throw them in water and they go poof. And you have a sponge that you can use to help clean up. So I have that available. Then I have also a product that I like. It's called Aqua Cover. Aqua Cover, it's actually white. It's uh, water soluble. You use it with, uh, with the water, with your good brushes. So if you want to paint uh, a light scene, birds in the clouds or highlights and so forth, this is a great product for it. I like it because you can carry it with you. It's easy. Uh, and it's got a nice little lid on it, so it seals nice and tightly for you, so you don't have any problems with any leaking or anything of that nature. But that's basically all I carry. Now, I also have a sponge, as, or a uh, towel as an example. I drape that across my knee, and I use that to clean off my brushes. If I get too much color or water on my brush, I would also recommend maybe some tissues. You can carry those in your backpack as well. All of this fits very nicely in the backpack. Here are some of the paintings that I've done in the field in Yellowstone using this particular backpack with these particular supplies. This particular painting was one that we did one day. 
Here's another one that we did. It's not finished, but I started this one. This is, happens to be a scene of the lower falls at Yellowstone. So that was done with the same equipment that you see right here that I just showed you. And here's another scene inside Yellowstone that I did on another day. So you can have a lot of fun with this in the field. Pack light. Remember, what you should do is take a hat or visor, sunglasses, and maybe a small folding chair, lightweight canvas chair that's one of those collapsible type. That's what I would recommend for you. That's all you need to, to turn out these nice paintings in the field. I hope you enjoy your painting sessions in the field. Thanks for joining me. I'm Tom Jones.